In Iowa, public schools are getting a safety overhaul. Governor Reynolds just unveiled a $100 million plan to improve school safety. And there is a lot included. KCCI's Amanda Rooker looks into what specific changes your kids will see in school, Amanda. Yeah, James, Lara, school districts across the metro tell me it's still a little too soon to know exactly what specific things this funding will change in the classroom. But Governor Reynolds has announced a few action items she wants to see accomplished by this fall. Every family should be able to confidently send their children to school knowing that they will be safe. To meet that goal, the governor's investing $100 million in school safety. The governor's office says it will pay for specialized training for teachers and for law enforcement. The money will also go towards emergency radios in every Iowa school. That's so school administrators can immediately talk to law enforcement in the event of an emergency. Everyone has cell phones, but relying solely on them can be problematic during emergency events as extreme call volume can quickly overwhelm existing cell networks. The School Safety Bureau will also create a platform to try and identify concerning behavior early. Anyone with safety concerns from self-harm to drug trafficking, gang activity or harassment can report it to an app that will be monitored and answered 24-7. The governor says the biggest chunk of money will go towards looking over every Iowa school for potential vulnerabilities and then setting up a grant program so schools have money to make needed security changes. The new program does not make any changes to gun laws or gun access in our state, which has some groups frustrated. The governor, unfortunately, is just um, is just kind of kicking the can down the road and going for a, a, a cheap political headline. Um, when she really should be addressing the underlying issue here. But Governor Reynolds says the focus here is on prevention and addressing mental health. The debate on guns will continue, but until we consider the lethal weapon in these events is the person who picks up the gun and turns it against another, we risk overlooking other solutions that di directly address the cause of this violence and work to reverse its course. And Governor Reynolds says the need for the School Safety Bureau comes after the recent school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. She also mentioned a post-pandemic uptick in mental health issues and violence in schools. Amanda, thank you. Well, the money mostly comes from federal funding through Biden's American Rescue Plan Act. Reynolds opposed that proposal when it was up for debate last year. Well, it's not the first time Governor Kim Reynolds has made moves to improve school safety. In 2020, she announced the Governor's School Safety Bureau. You heard Amanda allude to it. Her office promised more resources for schools, like an anonymous reporting tool. But last month, she told KCCI it had been slowed due to a lack of funding. Today's new package would fund the Bureau using federal money.